नमस्कार माय फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे आई एम बैक हियर विद ए नदर रिव्यू एंड टुडे वी वर सपोज्ड टू टेक अ लुक एट ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स प्राइम आरसी यस आई जस्ट फिनिश रिव्यूइंग आरसी अ लिटिल वाइल बैक एंड आई जस्ट रिसीव्ड दिस पैकेज टुडे फ्रॉम बिग बाय टॉय स्टोर एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू एक्चुअली शो यू दिस फिगर वॉच आउट फॉर द आरसी फिगर रिव्यू इन अ फ्यू डेज टाइम बट what i really want to show you guys was this figure that i had been waiting for quite some time a very controversial show we did receive netflix witcher gerald of rivia yes if you have seen the witcher show you know who this character is you know who the actor is who has played this character and i'm so happy to finally receive this figure in the mail So yes we will be reviewing the Witcher Geralt of Rivia today Netflix Witcher and this is the packaging right here an open window packaging quite collector friendly very very nice age is 14 plus and up that's what written up top in case you can't see it and here is the uh, logo of the Witcher from the Netflix here is a product shot and uh, this product shot really doesn't do the figure any justice believe me and uh, here is a another logo and mafar and toys written right there so let us get to the review and as always before we take a look at the figure let us have a look at the accessories that he comes with and he comes with this uh, with this base right here netflix which are written on that the same base that comes with the other dc multiverse figures from mafar and toys and we also get aaron dight that's right the silver bladed sword or the silver sword or the sword that basically kills all the monsters the aaron dight we do get that very nice sculpt minus slightly warped at the tip but nothing a little hot water or uh, you know a hair dryer cannot fix but yes it looks very very nice uh, very nice details on there as well uh, quite show accurate look that looks that looks pretty pretty decent and this is uh, obviously this is of a bendia plastic or a bendy material here so it won't poke you in the eye and that's all that we get and if you want to sheath the sword that's basically the sheath now about the sheath this is actually show accurate but fallen did not mess this one up so yeah in case you're wondering if this is show accurate yes it is there is an opening here there's a gap here in the sheath and you can just uh, i mean the scabbard and just uh, sheath that in there and that's how it basically works let's have a look at the figure and here we finally have gerald of rivia is it gerald or is it gerald I think in the show he has been called Geralt, right? Well, I'm going to be calling him Geralt and Geralt throughout the review, and uh, yeah, so that's Geralt right here for us by McFarlane Toys. And uh, first um, impressions: this is a very nice figure. It really is. Uh, proportionally, he looks really, really good. And you know, although he does not have a lot of paint on him. but there are these you know little painted details that he actually has you know silver painted details which look very very cool so we'll take a look at that a little bit later but first let us talk about that face does that look like henry cavill or not and let me be the first one to tell you yes you actually kind of get the henry cavill likeness especially you know from the side right there as well as from this side but overall I think this is a very very decent attempt at a Henry Cavill head sculpt. And this is definitely much better than the uh, Zack Snyder just like Superman head sculpt that uh, McFarlane Toys had given us. But uh, I feel that this head sculpt is pretty good. You know, if you have a little more paint on that face, I think it will work wonders. You know, the eyebrows I feel could have been a bit better, but yeah, I think that face looks really really nice. I think he's looking off to the side a little bit. Yeah, I think I think I think he's looking off to the side. At least on my copy, I think he's slightly looking off to the side. So, um, but that's again, it's not a deal breaker. I mean, yes, you do get that Henry Cavill likeness. Maybe not a hundred percent. It it just lacks paint. I feel it just needs paint, and uh, I think that'll work wonders. But the hair has got a nice wash on it. Very very nice uh, details going on right there. Um, very very cool. I think uh, the hair looks particularly fantastic. Very nice. wash and uh in looking at his physique at his body yes a lot of texture right there you know once the light hits the chest area you can actually see that there's a lot of texture going on there and we just zoom out a little bit and yes like i said you know a lot of uh, uh these uh, silver 
paint apps on a relatively you know uh, a matte black colored figure but yeah those painty paint apps actually make a lot of difference and uh, yeah that it, it really kind of makes him stand out and uh, yeah this is uh, quite show accurate if not extremely show accurate and you also have these uh, wires here which are not painted although I don't remember if they were uh, of this color on the show I don't think so because they were glass wires so yeah that is something that uh, you know they could have probably done something, something about it but the buckles look very very nice nice to paint it right here uh, again this buckle here also looks pretty cool and uh, I think on the boots really a lot of sculpted details yes but nothing on the boots going on uh, nothing on the on the lower legs and the boots a lot of sculpted details but uh, yeah um, this feel I think you know that I'm looking at it I think the leg probably probably could have used a little bit more volume I suppose slightly slightly ever so slightly a little bit slightly so uh, yeah that looks very very cool I think in my opinion and he also has his uh, his uh, medallion going on right there and yeah that looks that looks very nice so yeah overall very nice sculpting going on here pretty decent face sculpt uh, from a falling toys and you know from certain angles you know once you uh, you know photograph him or if you're into toy photography once you start doing that you will uh, you know see Henry Cavill right there and uh, does he hold his swords he does hold his sword really really well so yeah that's not a problem now before you have him hold the sword let me just tell you these aren't bendy these figures are not these fingers actually are not very bendy right they're actually very very stiff so yeah be careful when you're getting the sword in uh, make sure that you know you uh, heat those uh, hands up yes you got to heat those hands up and then you know you've got to get the sword in there yeah I don't know how that sounded that did not sound right but anyway let's continue with the review even uh, his uh, scabbard here has got that leathery texture going on here. It looks, it looks pretty cool. I really like that. But like all McFarlane toys, this figure does have its issues. And right there, that is exactly what the issue is. You see these ball joints here, these famous McFarlane toys ball joints, these don't help, right? These get loose over time. And, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing much that you can do about it and you know the problem is that he's a little top heavy and if you actually have a look at him he's a little top heavy and he keeps falling every time you try to stand him straight and uh, yeah but now he does stand straight of course of course he will do that in front of the camera yep yep making me look so stupid but yes he does have this tendency of falling and you know this base does come in handy and I don't understand something why doesn't McFarlane fix these I don't understand why don't they fix these they give us a base trying to compensate for the fact that hey our figures don't stand they sometimes have a difficult time standing so hence the base I don't, I don't get it I want my figures to stand on their own without any support be it a base be it sticky tags be it anything I, I don't get it I really don't get it it just baffles me sometimes you know some of these creative decisions that McFarlane takes and you know this figure does have that problem you know if you try to stand him up he does fall and that is you know now he's not falling of course you know, like I said um, but yeah this is something that that is a recurring problem in most McFarlane figures and this is something it's high time that they should address and uh, because you know over a period of time these will get loose and your figures will fall flat on their face so yeah that is something that probably McFarlane toys needs to pay attention to there is another thing I'd like to mention here as well. I don't know if you see it, but do you think the sword is a little too small for Geralt? I don't know, because you know, the hilt of the sword, there are scenes where he actually fights, you know, uh, double-handed and the hilt of the sword actually kind of sticks out. But this sword seems to be a little small for Geralt. What do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments. And now it is time for the articulation. The head does not look up because the hair skull sort of hinders the articulation. He does do look down a little bit, not a lot. Uh, he does turn side to side. The head does turn side to side a little bit. 
and there is no no attitude no tilt going on here the uh, shoulder pauldrons are actually on uh, yeah they're actually a part of the arm so yeah he does get a full range of motion which is which is pretty good for both arms and again the hair sort of restricts the full movement so yeah that is something that you might want to take into consideration um he does get a bicep swivel as well which is not the greatest again it's very at least it's uh, very tight in mind so you know i'm not exactly getting the kind of movement that i need or the range that i need uh he does have double jointed elbows which is very good again very nice range uh, looks a little ugly here, but uh, yeah, very, very nice range. Um, the hands have a swivel, and I think they're on a ball joint, so yeah, you do get some vertical movement. And uh, no, you, we don't get any horizontal movement, but we do get some vertical movement, I think. Have a look at this, look at this on this hand. Here we are getting some horizontal movement, so yeah, the ball joint is covered here by these uh, gauntlets, I think. These are, you know, I don't know what these are called, but I think these are gauntlets. I'm not too sure. We also have a butterfly joint here. At least coming forward, we do get some movement, and we pretty much get this on both the shoulders. Now, here comes another problem, and although McFarlane Toys have tried to rectify this, but it just did not work in this case. So, as far as the torso articulation is concerned, we do get. A pretty decent side to side we do get a back crunch movement which is which is quite good but the moment you take it forward this guy has a bad habit of popping out right so you have to understand how much and how long you go to push it so yeah that is something that I actually had when I got him out of the package when I tried to articulate him so yeah he at the most crunches till about that much which is not the greatest of range again because you know you start getting that gap here when you when you start scrunch forward so yeah that is a that is a bit of an issue um he does have a waist swivel which is pretty good um he does kick forward but then again these uh, these diapers sort of again hinder the uh, the articulation so he does his the range of his kick forward does not even go up to 90 degrees which is a bit of a shame really uh, he does kick backward a little bit which is not too bad he does do the splits uh, splits on most McFarlane figures is pretty good so yeah so that's not a problem but after a long time and probably in a very few figures he has given us this he has given us thigh swivels yes we do get some thigh swivels here which is pretty good unusual on a McFarlane figure and they should include it with every figure so that is pretty cool I'm very happy about that uh, we do get a double jointed knees um, it's very very tight in my copy but yeah that's yeah that's that's not too bad that's pretty good um, we do get ankle pivots which is pretty good we do get ankle pivots which is fantastic the foot does come up to about right there it does go back quite a bit and we do have two articulation on the boot so yeah the articulation is um, is okay again it's it's not the greatest they could have done so much better but uh, the sculpt of the figure kind of makes up for the articulation that has not been provided by McFarlane toys that is what happens with most of the figures actually so yeah all in all uh, this is what we get as far as the articulation is concerned now let us have a look at some comparisons and here he is with McFarlane toys Hal Jordan green lantern and here he is with a uh, Marvel Legends spider-man Scarlet spider-man of course we do get the Hasbro black 3 stormtrooper that's how he scales with them so my overall thoughts about this figure well as far as I'm concerned, I think this is a very, very solid piece as far as the sculpt is concerned from McFarlane Toys. Yes, the Henry Cavill face sculpt, it's there. The likeness is there from certain angles. He does look like Henry Cavill and I think better paint on the face would have made so much more difference to how the face looks now. But yes, this is definitely a better face sculpt than what McFarlane Toys had done previously. If you're on a budget, this is a very, very 
good piece to have if you're a fan of the show. But yes, this figure does have its problems. It does have that whole torso pop-off situation going on every time you try to crunch him forward a little too much. So yeah, that's there. You also have another problem with him being top heavy and you know him falling over. So that is another problem. But all in all, he will look good on your shelf and he definitely has a lot of shelf presence. Well, having said that, it is now time for me to wrap up this review. If you have liked this review, then do give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have no worries, we'll have more Transformers reviews coming your way very soon. I hope you're enjoying the content that we're trying to put on the channel. I hope you're liking these whole car, model, scale car, unboxing videos. And we'll have more for you in the future as well. Till then, please take care of yourselves. Please take care of your families. Enjoy your collections. Take care of your collection. And of course, always remember, till all are one. Thank you so much for joining us today.